All right, traders, it's Tuesday, so it's time for our final order cutoff video. I'm here with Greg at Black Hat Comics because we've got a huge announcement. Uh, Greg has expanded his store, and he's doing his grand reopening this weekend with proceeds going to the American Cancer Society. So I know this is something that's really deep and dear to, to Greg's heart. He's got a lot of family members that have been affected by cancer, so it, it's a, a big deal. Come on down. Uh, what time's the event? Uh, the event's 11 o'clock um, until whenever people leave and quit giving money, which hopefully is all day. Okay. And we got some great door prizes. Um, he, Xenoscope, sent some great books. Um, yep, they did. You want to show, yeah, show those up yeah. there? Yeah. The Cinderella Secret Retailer exclusive and the Hellchild Unholy Red Carpet exclusive. And then. Good books. They're tough to get. The Bleak Haven guys also have a piece of original art. From a top DC artist. You'll have to come down and check that out as well. Uh, what's your address, Greg? Uh, it is 2261 Highland Drive here in Sugar House. We're in the Sugar House Center right next to GameStop across from the Cinemark Theaters. All right, so come on down this weekend and visit us. We'll be doing daily promos and I'll be talking with the Bleak Haven guys tomorrow and, and we'll get you more information on the event. So here we are, your final court cutoff books coming up this weekend. Here are the DC Comics for Final Order Cutoff this coming Sunday, March 14, 2021. We start with Batman number 107. We have two open order covers, a dark and broody Matina trade dress. And we also have another black and white 1 in 25 Federici Scarecrow sketch variant. Batman Urban Legends has three open order covers available, another Matina trade dress, and a very cool Derek Chu variant. Crime Syndicate has two covers to show. Dreaming Waking Hours number 9 from the Sandman universe has a single cover. Far Sector has its second to last issue with number 11 and two covers. Green Lantern number 1 of a new Lantern series has two open order covers and this 1 in 25 John Stewart cover. Man Bat has a single cover on issue number three. Next Batman Second Son number one of a four issue limited run has one cover as of now. Rorschach number seven of 12 has its usual two covers. Sensational Wonder Woman number two has two covers. Suicide Squad number two of this new run has two covers and a super nice Gerald Perel trade dress. And finally, the Swamp Thing, issue number two. This continues to run with two covers. Again, Matina working his magic on a B-cover trade dress. Marvel Comics cutoff this week is Monday, March 15th, 2021. As of now, we have only one cover for each book. Make sure you check back with your LCS later in the week for more available covers. I'll try to update these as they become available. Now, for Marvel Comics, we have... Amazing Spider-Man, number 63. America Chavez, made in the USA, issue number two of a five-issue limited run. We have Avengers, number 44. Avengers Mech Strike, this is issue number three of a five-issue limited run. Conan the Barbarian, issue number 20, this will only have one cover. Excalibur, number 20. Immortal Hulk, number 45. There is going to be a Liefeld Deadpool 30th Anniversary variant. King in Black ends its run with issue number 5. And there are going to be six different variants. King in Black, Planet of the Symbiotes, number 3, ends its run. Marauders, number 19. Runaways, number 35. Marvel's Justice, oh no, Marvel Squadron Supreme, Marvel Tales, number one. Star Wars High Republic, number four, which will have two covers. And finally, we have Venom, number 34, a Kingdom Black tie-in, which will have three covers, and we have art for two. And now, for our independent comics with final order cut off on March 15, 2021, we start with Image Comics. We have Bliss, number six. Commanders in Crisis, number seven, which is going to have three covers. We have art for two of those. Deep Beyond, number three of a 12-issue run. That is going to have four covers, and we've got two of those covers available. 
Firepower by Kirkman and Semney. We have one cover for that one. A long anticipated Geiger number one with Jeff Johns and Gary Franks helming this one. That's going to have a single cover available. We've got Inkblot number seven. That's going to have a single cover. We have issue number two of Noctera. This is going to have two covers as well. We've got art for one of those. We have a brand new adult horror anthology series. We're kicking off Silver Coin number one. This is Chip Zdarsky's new project with Eisner Award winning artist Michael Walsh. This will have three covers available. And finally, continuing with its full color run, we have Walking Dead Deluxe number 12, which is showing two covers as of now. New from Dark Horse Comics, we have Beast of Burdens, Occupied Territory, issue number one with two covers. From IDW Publishing, we have Lock and Key, Sandman, Hell and Gone, number one. There will be three covers. Marvel Action Captain Marvel number two, Star Trek Next Generation, The Gift. This is a one-shot that brings back Q. Star Trek Year 5 is on issue number 20, and this has just been a great run. There's another joint Marvel youth book, Star Wars High Republic Adventures, issue number 3. TMNT Jenica, number 2, finishes its run with issue number 6. And finishing off IDW, we have Transformers Beast Wars number 3, which has two covers to show. From Dynamite Comics, and remember, we only show one of the many covers that they carry. Be sure to catch our new Comic Book Day video that we upload Wednesday nights. It's filmed from Black Cat Comics here in Salt Lake City for all of the amazing covers from Dynamite. We've got Deja Thoris, Winter's End One Shot, which will have four covers. George R.R. R. Martin's A Clash of Kings, number 12, has two covers. James Bond. Agent of Spectre has a single cover. Sacred Six, issue number eight, is going to have seven covers. And Sonya Versal, number three, hits the stands with 12 beautiful covers. From Boom Studios, we have Buffy the Vampire Slayer, number 24, which will have three covers. The Boom Box title, The Lax Witch, will have two covers. Magic the Gathering, number one, has two color covers and a blank sketch variant. We've got Many Deaths of Lila Star, number one, which has two covers, with a, with a foil variant cover on the B. Origins, number six, has a single cover as of now. Proctor Valley Road will have two covers, and we have art for one. And finally, from Boom, we have Seven Secrets, number seven, with two covers. From Aftershock Comics, we have Patron, number one, with a single cover. This looks to be like a real interesting book and a, almost a cover swipe from Red Rooster. Now from Oni Press, we've got, we have Agretsuko, Meet Her World, number one, which has two covers. Jana and the Impossible Monsters, number two, which has two covers. Keiju Max, season six, number one, with a single cover. And Rick and Morty, Worlds Apart, which has two covers. From Titan Comics, we have Blade Runner 2029, issue number four, with four covers, including this amazing Peach Momoko cover, and Snoopy Come Home, which is the one shot. From Vault Comics, we have Picture of Everything number three with two covers, which has been a really cool read so far. And we have Vampire the Masquerade issue number seven with its single cover. And finally, from Xenoscope, we have Grim Universe presents Quarterly Steampunk, which is a one shot that'll have three spectacular covers. And there you have it, traders. Those are your books that for final order cut off March 14th and 15th that's coming up Sunday and Monday. And remember, come on down to Black Hat Comics this weekend on Saturday from 11 till whenever we're done. And Greg's having his grand reopening. There's going to be door prizes. The creators of Harold's Journey and Bleak Haven are both going to be there. You can get our joint exclusives with Black Hat Comics and have them signed by the creators. There's also going to be plenty of prizes. Greg's got some good stuff in store. So remember to like, subscribe, and leave us a comment. Let us know what you'd like to see in future videos. Till next time, traders.